ass, something that can only be described as a gift from God. People blessed with cargo in their caboose might be the apex of human evolution. I'm completely convinced that's the case. In our modern world full of endless supplies of dopamine and overstimulation, the one thing that still grounds me is a top tier dump truck. So why don't we dive in and figure out who has the fattest ass in all of hip hop. All right, quick little disclaimer before we start the rest of this video. I do not objectify women. So for this video, we're saying fuck the women. We are only doing the juicy scoots of the men of the rap world. And second quick little disclaimer, I swear to you, I'm not gay. I know it's Pride Month, but I am not gay, okay? This is just for shits and giggles. Dick play, nigga. You feel me? Whole lot of Draco shit, nigga. Whole lot of stick play, nigga. Whole lot of that. Whole lot. Kanye West has been around for a very, very long time. He's been making music for pretty much as long as I've been alive, and he's made it very clear a lot of times that he's all about that ass. I'm not sure there's many Kanye songs where he doesn't at least mention ass in some way, but there's one song that stuck in my head when I was making this video, Good Morning. Specifically where he says, looking at every ass, and let's be real for a second. If he's looking at every ass, that has to include himself, right? So we know he's working with at least something just right off the bat. He's literally telling us in that song. Now, that's not enough evidence, so I did some digging, and in an article I found, it turns out that people are often attracted to people with similar physical traits as themselves, such as Kanye and Kim Kardashian. Now, I don't want to go out there and say specifically what they have in common, but I think you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. I think there's a very real possibility that Kanye could be sharing a little bit of what Kim's got, I said a little bit, not a lot. Kim obviously has got him beaten, but it's okay, it's okay. He's got some of it. And also in that article, I also learned that it turns out that couples start to look like one another the more time that they spend together. And I know they're broken up now, but have you seen the girl he's with now? There's a few similarities. I'm not saying that it's 100%. I'm just saying that there's significant evidence, Kanye, you might have a secret fatty we don't know about. I'm just saying he's my sleeper pick for this competition. Two, two. 145 words or are you fuckers in school telling me always in the barber shop as far as short kings go i'm not sure if there's anyone more fit for that role than uzi i mean i know kendrick is short too but he's still an inch taller than uzi and that's not saying much by the way but what does being short have to do with anything about having junk in your trunk it all goes back to the rule of height you see, the universe had to balance out short people and tall people, and so tall people got the ability to instantly be attractive to basically any woman ever if the minute they say they're over six feet tall. But on the other hand, they cannot gain muscle mass to save their life. I mean, they can try, but really they're never gonna get to the level that other people are, at least naturally. Short people, on the other hand, have to spend their entire lives dealing with short jokes. It's just nonstop. Their entire lives, they have to deal with it. But they can become a Sam Selleck in a week by just hitting the gym like maybe every other day without any trend, nothing. They can just do it completely naturally. They already hit their ceiling for vertical growth, so they have to do it completely horizontally. That's why most fat people are also short. If we think about it, that's kind of a, that's, that's kind of smart. That means that Uzi could be on the right track. All he has to do is hit up a little bit of glutes, maybe once a week, and he'll be able to have a fat ass in no time. And honestly, there's a little bit of evidence to support that he might already have something back there. I mean, just look at the little I wanna rock dance and the hip, the Uzi dance. Dude, he's got some momentum back there. I don't know if his bones are just dense as fuck, but he's got some movement back there. But once again, we have to account for his height. He's only like 6'3", and even if he's got a bubble butt, it's just not the same size. Like, it might be big on him, but on every other human being in the world, it's just a small ass. He might have a dumpy, but it's a mini dump truck. It's a Tonka. It's not a big ass Volvo thing. So in the end, Uzi might have a fat ass for his weight class, but that's not a fat ass for the a majority of the human population. So sadly, Uzi, I don't think that you're gonna be able to compete in this competition. You just don't have what it takes to really compete with the likes of Kanye and other people. It's just, I'm sorry, man. I press, 
Cardi and Frank Ocean, the two rappers with the worst drop schedule known to mankind. You're probably a little bit confused why I'm bringing up these 6'3 lanky ass motherfuckers into this conversation, but I feel like personally, I relate to them. I feel like I need to talk about this issue because it really affects millions of men and sometimes women in America. It's called being tall. It's very, very difficult. I'm also 6'3", just like Cardi and Frank Ocean's. I don't have a way to prove that, but you're just going to go take my word for it. We tall people have it so hard. We have to spend our entire lives ducking under doorways, being found really easily in hide and go seek, never having enough legroom on planes and cars. But worst of all, it's not having enough ass, or really any ass at all. I'm jealous of all those people who have a stack in the back. Even if I did glutes every single day of my life, I'd barely get any curve out of it. It's such a hard life to live. And Cardi and Frank Ocean know exactly what I'm talking about. I think this picture of Frank Ocean explains it all just so well. That's the posture of a man with no cargo in his caboose, trying to painfully not sit directly on his tailbone and just hurt the shit out of his non-existent ass. And Cardi too, I mean, just look at his super baggy jeans in this photo. You can't even hide the fact that he's got no pile on his aisle. So the next time you go up to a tall person and you're ready to make a joke, ask them how the weather is up there, just think twice about the very hard life that we have to live as tall people. Pull on my plastic. You got it, Mr. Carson. Call me Ken. Murray. <laughs> we all know that Lucky has seen better days. Luckily, his music hasn't fallen off too much, but he doesn't have the same prime Lucky look anymore, so it just isn't the same. After years of sipping on that dirty Sprite, he's put on a few pounds. A few hundred pounds. And I'm not fat shaming much, but I think I do need to make it very clear. Just because someone is a fat ass does not mean they have a fat ass. I mean, yeah, they do have a really big butt, but it's the same size as everything else, so it doesn't really, you know, it's all about perspective. It doesn't matter, it's relative. This is the same thing that happened to not only Lucky, but also Rod Wave, DJ Khaled, Big X The Plug, Ken Carson in that one interview, and you know what? It's okay, we love you Ken, it's all right. Just maybe lay off the lean for a little bit, trust me dude, you're just, um, we're worried about your health, man. And yeah, they've got some weight in their crate, but it's not special in that context. It loses the novelty you get of having only a fat ass. In the words of Inley Choppa, my bitch really skinny, but she got a lot of ass. I like Lucky, just as much as everyone else, but in this competition, honestly, he just doesn't fit the rule book. I think the judges are gonna vote him out on a technical foul, and I really hate to see him be ejected from the game like this, but there isn't really much that I can do about it. Can I have my sweater back? Can I have my virginity back? Just like John Morant, in the middle of a lot of controversy, he's coming back to play. We're talking about Drake now. Probably the one person in rap that is most famous for having a lot of mass in his ass is Drake. And well, also a lot of mass in the front, but that's for the second channel. And as for what he's got going on in the backseat, I definitely think he could throw it back if he tried. Let's all be honest for a second. One of the biggest disappointments in my entire YouTube career is I couldn't find a real video of Drake just throwing it back like he's like he's got no care in the world. Dude, TikTok definitely thinks I like dudes now. Just like Kanye, I felt like I had a little bit of a lack of evidence. And I don't want to award the biggest ass in rap to just anyone without a lot of evidence. Until I remembered Metro Boomin. He made a whole beat called BBL Drizzy. I mean, it just repeats it in the background. That's the sample, BBL Drizzy. And I had an epiphany. It all became clear. My eyes were open to the truth. Drizzy got a Brazilian butt lift. It all makes just so much sense now. All throughout my research, I kept saying, there's no way that's a natty fatty. And it never was. It just, it all, it all clicked for me. It just makes so much sense that Drake, out of all people, would get a BBL. I mean, if you think about it, he's the one person that is really only being carried by his looks right now. But honestly, I think that at the end of the day, here at the Overknown channel, we shouldn't make fun of somebody for getting body alterations. They obviously have insecurities that they're trying to fill. Maybe they're trying to do something for someone. Maybe they're trying to look better and just raise up their positive appearance of themselves and maybe raise their self-esteem. So I think that in the rule book, there shouldn't be any rules against not having an altered ass. We're all being honest with ourselves and with the world for a second. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter whether or not you have your gift from God or you've got more silicones in Silicon Valley. It all gets the job done at the end of the day, and we need to appreciate both sides. Now, it is my honor to bestow upon a very underground rapper that no one has ever heard of, Drake, the award of the fattest ass in all of hip hop. Congratulations.